Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well. Uh, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually plowing this work. This is our giving our diligence to make your carnal lecture sure in our faith, truth, sincerity. Now, um, this is going to be another part of the uh, Lashwan Kodash videos. And, um, you know, Spirit uh, jumped on me to uh, put together another uh, lesson concerning uh, one of the prayers that um, you ought to be praying towards the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because, you know, that's that's one of the things that uh, apostle, the apostle elders have been pushing that, you know, we should be praying more. And the thing is that, you know, the Lord does not speak um, the English language. So, in order to uh, to have a, a conversation with our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and to have a uh, or should I say to to establish a more closer relationship with the Yahweh Shemuel Shai, then we have to utilize the Hebrew language because our Lord uh, spoke Hebrew, all right, and he still speaks Hebrew to this very day. So that's why, um, you know, really when you look into the Hebrew and, um, you know, you look up words and things of that nature, really it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lay laborious laborious work alright in which you know really even the apostle elders have spoken about this too so that when you look things up for yourself you know you appreciate it much uh, the much more alright because that's true you know when you, you when you labor to uh, look into things concerning the Hebrew language you know you appreciate it much more and then it'll stick with you uh, for eternity. You know, it'll never leave you. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, before I go into the um, the the prayer in which, um, you know, I pretty much have in the arsenal. And um, I encourage the brothers to also you know, use this prayer as well, you know, in your prayer arsenal. But before I, I get it, I want to go ahead and um, grab a couple of scriptures. Uh, it's the book of Baruch, uh, the fourth chapter. And I'm going to start at the 28th verse. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. All right, so therefore, since we have come back from the world, you know, we, we left off the ways of this world. Uh, we were dead in the spirit. Now we come back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So therefore, uh, we are to seek him 10 times more. And the form of seeking him uh, 10 times more is uh, not only, you know, putting up the videos, but also going to the Hebrew, you know, studying the, the, the Hebrew language, you know, going to the prayers, going to uh, the... Uh, different words the definitions you know attaining to prayer fasting you know these are the things that uh establishes you know a a, a, a bond with you how about shemuel shai because the lord sees everything man you know scriptures speak about um uh, the eyes of the lord power are ten thousand times brighter than the sun all right so you know these are one of the things that uh that is under the um, or should I say is, is categorized under seeking them 10 times more alright now um, I want to grab another precept it's uh, Amos the 5th chapter in the 15th uh, verse it says uh, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai the power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. All right, and the reason why I want to bring this uh this precept out is because a particular prayer that um I want to bring out is uh basically the prayer of 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 speaking speaking righteousness, you know, uh 
speaking the right things in judgment and also uh, teaching us even more to be uh, to be righteous all right you know we have the uh, the book we have the understanding the wisdom knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai but it's through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai that uh, we are to do these things so that we can please Yahweh by Shemuel Shai all right so this is uh, the prayer of speaking right things right in which uh, I already got the words uh, laid down. Just gonna break them down as I go along. So, of course, true to form, we always speak the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, right? Which is uh, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name Yahweh Shai. All right. In which uh, the word Yahweh goes to He is, or He to be, or He exists. Which uh, let's go into the word Yah, and then Hawa means uh, to be, right? And Bahashim, which means in the name, right? And you have Yahweh Shai, which means uh, He delivers. You know, Yah means He, Hawa Shai means deliver or save. And then you have Babakusha, which means please, you know, to to beg, you know, basically to beg Yahweh Bahashim Shai. That's when you make supplication to you, how about Shemuel Shai? You, your basically supplication means to beg. All right, so that's why you know we say Babak Shah. You know because really when we pray to you, how about Shemuel Shai, and, and make a supplication, we're begging you, how about Shemuel Shai, to do these do these things. And um, at the same time, you know, even though we're praying praying for these things, you know, also you have to attain to. You know, doing the right thing, man. All right. And to fast, in which fasting is uh, also an important part of this truth. Because really, the, the, the greatest enemy in this truth is yourself. All right. And we're at, we're at the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So that's why we when we speak to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you know, we add in Babak Al Shah. All right. So it says Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? Babakusha. Uh Lamad, which means uh teach. Alright. Lamad means teach. And then you have uh pa, which uh pa means uh uh mouth. Alright. But if you want to say uh my mouth, right, make it possessive, you put the ya at the end of it. So you're saying uh Lamad Paya, right, which means uh teach my mouth right or teach my lips and the bar means uh, to speak all right you can either use it as a speak or to speak right or to say and then you have uh taza taza doc or taza doc which means are uh, righteous right but if you put the ha at the end of it is uh taza daqua all right, Tazadakwa, which means righteousness or justice. Okay. So you're saying, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, please teach my mouth to speak righteousness. All right. And if you want to add in um, some more words, right, you can say uh, judgment. You know, to to speak uh, righteousness, uh, judgments, which is our uh, judgments is uh, or judgment means uh, mashapat. If you want to make it plural, you put the yum at the end of it, right? And you know, you can just say Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Abakusha Lamad Paya, Dabar Tazadakwa, Wa Mashapayim. All right, so you're saying Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, please teach my mouth to speak. Righteousness and judgments. All right. And um, if you want to modify it, right, you could say, uh, how about Shemuel Shai? That's why I got these uh, extra words at the bottom. It says, uh, I got one word that says, uh, Ayak Hayat Tazadak, which means, uh, Ayak means uh, 
how, you know. Really, if you say how, it depends on how you use it. If you say how um, as a question, but you can also say uh, how with an exclamation point. It's like uh, it's like saying alas, you know, like other scriptures also um, always use the word alas, alas. So that word alas or how means uh, a yak. Um, and then haya means uh, means to be, because you go into the root root word of uh, the the root of uh, the name of of Yahweh, right? That word hawa goes back to the word uh, haya, which means uh, to be. All right, to be or or is. So you can say Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Babakusha. Uh, Lamad or Lamad Ya, which means uh, teach me, right? You put the Ya at the end of it, you're saying me, all right? So Lamad Ya, because you can use if you put Ya at the end of a word, you can either be possessive or you can say, uh, or you can put emphasis on it to say uh, me when you talk about yourself. So you can say Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Babakusha, Lamad Ya. Um, which is teach me please teach me uh, ayak which means uh, how right and haya or you can say haya without the ayak you know that's just um, this is making it really specific but you can say uh, haya which means to be and uh, tazadak which means uh, righteous all right, or to be right, to be just. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it on the Hebrew. You know, I just want to go into, um, you know, this particular prayer, which, uh, you know, to add onto your prayer arsenal. You know, Lord's will, this is, uh, you know, useful for the Akim. You know, I, you know, these videos, you know, I, I also put these videos up for myself, but I also put up these videos uh, for the Akim, you know, for the for the use of the the hopeful elect, you know, um, because this is one of, the, one of the things that we must need to pray for on top of, uh, you know, increase in our faith or increase in um, humility, humbleness, which I went to the last video concerning um the prayer on um, the increase on how to be, you know, uh, how to be humble, or the increase increase in being humble, so like you, you know, or you could say, hey, you know, now that I say that, you know, you could say, yeah, how about Shemuel Shabbat Bakosha, Lamadia, Haya, Ainawa, which Ainawa means uh, uh, humility, all right. Or you can say Yahab Bashim Yah Shai Babakosha uh Lamadia Ainawa, which means uh, uh teach me teach me humility. Alright. Now I'm not sure about, about the word humble. You know, I'm not sure if, if uh Ainawa means you know or if there's uh different mod modifications to that word uh I know which I know literally means humility or meekness. Alright. But uh, humble, you know, I have to pretty much, you know, go go search for that word humble and make sure that that's the same word or that's the same pronunciation of the word. But, um, you know, you, you get the point, man. But Lord's will, this was uh, edifying to the, um, the hopeful elect. You know, it's just the sincere Akim that's uh, serious about this thing. You know, especially concerning the Hebrew. But um, this.